Hi there, this is John Stauffer, and I'm here to bring you a tech tip from MCAM Northwest. Today I want to talk about editing splines and how we can use that to modify our parts. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So on this solid model, I have a couple of little issues that I think we can address with spline edits. First off, if we take a look at this corner right here, this is sharper than I really want it to be. I want a smoother blending transition here. Second, if we look on this side, I kind of have something similar, where I've got a radius here, but I really don't need it. I want a tighter transition between this face and this face here, so I want more tangency here. And then finally, we have this kind of middle bump here, and I want it to be a bit more pronounced than it currently is. So we can do all of this with spline edits, because this solid model is an extrusion based on a spline and some lines. Then the radius up here is just based on a solid edge. So let's go ahead and get started. If I take a look at this second view sheet, I do have the wireframe all drawn up, and we can see the three areas that I want to change. This intersection here, this intersection here, and the bend of this spline here. I'm going to start with the intersections. So to modify this and make it smooth and tangent with this line, I'm going to go up to my wireframe tab, and then go over to Refit Spline, and in the dropdown we have Edit Spline. Then I'm going to select on this spline here, and make sure that I'm set to Node Points. Now we can see the individual nodes that make up the spline. I'm going to select on the very last one, and then if I grab on this arc, I can swing this around to change the way that this spline comes off of that line. What I'm going to do is just snap it to this endpoint here and that creates a smooth tangent blend between the spline and the line. Very nice. Let's go ahead and blue check here. We're going to do basically the same thing on the other side, but I'll show you another trick. In this case, when I snap here, I can't really just bring my X down because if this wasn't perfectly vertical or if I don't have anything to reference to, it can really cause a problem. But I'll show you a trick. If we take this arc and snap it back up to this entity anyways, what will happen is the arc will actually reset itself back to zero once we snap it down, because it's an incremental movement. So now I can grab this and bring it back down to 180. That's going to get me that smooth tangent blend. Looks great. Let's blue check here. Now the last one is this middle piece here. I'm going to go ahead and select it, and then we'll select that node point, and we'll bring this out. I'm going to put it at the intersection between these two lines. We'll notice that when I do that, it doesn't really give me exactly what I'm looking for. Notice that this one, while staying pretty tangent, it's kind of bending in a weird direction here, and it's coming to a sharper point than I really want at this intersection. It's also jutting out a little oddly for me down below, so this isn't perfect. So how do we deal with that? Let's hit escape a couple times to put the line back where it was. Now I'm going to go to refit spline again then edit spline and select the spline. This time we're going to use the control vertices option. Notice the green triangles that have popped up. These control vertices basically shape the curvature of the spline. I'm going to select this one down here and then by selecting that and moving it I can get different movement out of the spline. Notice that this is a lot smoother kind of throughout the entire shape. I can take this and snap it anywhere I like. Again, I'm going to use the intersection between those two lines, because I think that looks really nice. It's a minor difference, but it could be a pretty big difference, especially if you're doing sculptural type work, where you really just need to get something to fit perfectly. With that, let's green check here. Now our solid was pulled from that wireframe, so we have to regenerate the solid. Now if we go back to our solid view sheet, we can see our new model. So check out the blend here. That is much nicer. I really prefer the way that this looks. And the one over here, that fillet is gone. We have a nice, smooth transition. The middle bump is a little bit more pronounced, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Mastercam, let us know. You can tell us down in the comments, tell us what you want to learn, or you can just email us at support at mcamnw.com. Thanks, and have a great day.